In this video, I will show you how to make this render in Blender using geometry nodes. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by going into the geometry nodes workspace and set up a new geometry nodes group. And then we can delete the group input, which is the default cube, so X2 delete. And then press Shift A, and let's add an icosphere. And then connect mesh to geometry. And then you can increase the number of subdivisions. And then we're going to extrude these faces. So go to mesh and then extrude mesh. As you can see, we now have a bunch of extrusions from this icosphere. And then to add some variation to the extrusions, we can add a Voronoi texture node. And then connect the Voronoi texture node to the offset. And then we also need to increase the scale to add some additional noise. Like this. And then we can also increase the number of subdivisions by typing it in manually. You can also make the Voronoi texture four dimensional so that you can change the seed of the noise with the W value. And then next, we need to add a material to the setup. So I'm just going to decrease the number of subdivisions to speed up Blender, and then go to material, and then set material. And then we can add the material to this node so that we have this material for the current geometry node setup. I'm also going to save. And then next, we need to go in to the shader editor so that we can edit the material nodes. And then before we start editing the material, we need to switch to cycles, use the GPU if you have one, if not, just keep using the CPU. I'm also going to increase the number of samples in the viewport. And then I'm going to turn the light into a sun and then press R twice to rotate the sun freely. I'm also going to add a background image to uh, give the scene some better lighting. Now we can go into rendered view. As you can see, we have the background image and I'm going to hide it by making the background transparent so that we keep the background lighting as well. Okay, so let's go back to solid view and then decrease the number of subdivisions for now. We can increase them later. And then let's increase the roughness of the object. And then press Shift A and then search and then search for geometry. And we're going to use this node and the mapping node to control the placement of the colors. So let's connect the uh, normal output to the vector input. And then random per island to rotation. So that we can control the rotation of the colors. And then we can add a color ramp node to add the colors that we want for the object. So let's connect vector to factor and then color to base color. And when we go into render view, you can see that we have black and white. So let's increase the number of subdivisions and see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks fine. So now we can add the different colors. So let's start off by changing this color stop from uh, black to blue. And you can of course add whatever color you want. So uh, just add a, a bunch of colors, drag them to change the ratio, and then uh, just experiment with the different values and colors. You can also change the rotation in the mapping node if you want to change the look and the uh, ratio of the different colors. So uh, just play around until you like the results. And then you can set up the camera and render the scene. 